I'm gonna just keep it 100. I have been missing in action, y'all. You know, over the last couple of years, I've kind of left y'all in the dark as to what's going on in my life. I've popped in here and there with some beauty, a little fashion, but nothing substantial has gone down on this channel in a very long time. And it's time for that to change. I started this channel in 2015. We are in 2023, so that is seven years, almost eight. And you know, so much has happened in my life over that period of time. I know so much has probably happened in all of your lives. And I'm gonna try my best in this video to give y'all a little scoop and just update on what's been going on. And the reason I'm even updating y'all is because I am coming back to this space. You know, I'm no longer just having a small mindset. Once I kind of stopped filming videos and sharing them here, I kind of just like had it in my head that no one cared, you know. On YouTube, it, when you stop the consistency, the views go down and you know, rightfully so. People unsubscribe, rightfully so. Like I even do that if I see a channel is no longer active um but yeah i kind of just had it in my head like wow my youtube youtube journey is done like no one cares but at the end of the day am i really i'm doing it for you guys but at the same time when i first started this channel it was authentic because i was doing it for myself and that resonated with you guys so i want to get back to doing that i stopped being consistent on youtube it was around the time when I left my first university so as you guys know when I used to do my dorm videos and come to school with me videos I went away to college at University of Illinois in Champaign. It was a great experience two years and after that I just kind of didn't feel like it was the fit for me and I decided to come back to Chicago which I did and I ended up taking a long year off which turned into two years within those two years I was just picking up on some of my content creation more on Instagram and then I also got my yoga teacher certification so that was a big part of my life for a while I actually received my yoga certification right before the pandemic so we really wanted to shut down like March and I received my certification in December so I think I taught about two classes before we went into shutdown so once that happened you know and I noticed how in the very beginning how the shutdown was impacting us it was right off the heels of the George Floyd incident and all of that and I realized you know a lot of us were just feeling stuck just cramped into our homes and stuff so I decided hmm, why don't I start doing zoom everybody was doing zoom at that time but i was like why don't i start doing yoga classes on zoom so i started hosting free yoga classes on zoom those were really successful um i had hundreds of different people who would tune in over the course of a couple of months and then from there i actually started being able to partner with companies i partnered with free people movement i partnered with a company called dame i partnered with a local museum in Chicago called DuSable Museum and so like I oh outdoor voices as well and I did a lot within that space um that I'm really proud of and once we kind of like once we came out of lockdown I did teach at a studio for a while for about six months and then that's when I decided to go back to school so juggling school and being a yoga teacher <sighs> It was just a lot of work it was really like a lot um so i decided to just like kind of come down from that a bit and focus on school fully and as i mentioned i left my first university after two years so i took i went i did my two years i took two years off and then i went back for my final two years which i just finally wrapped up in December so I graduated from college in December with my degree in fine art so mixed media so interdisciplinary studio painting sculpture printmaking were my three main focuses but I also did a lot of photo and video and some really experimental work in the last two years of my university career that I'm really proud of um, and then I also did minor in art history as well. So your girl got that paper. I did it. I'm really so proud of me. During my time off, I think that's what kind of like really kept me out of YouTube a, a lot too. Is that I don't know. I just kind of felt 
I kind of just felt like a letdown. Like, you know, I shared so much of my college journey with y'all and I don't even want to get emotional right now, but like I shared so much of my college journey and just about my life with you guys and it just wasn't going how I thought it would be going. So, you know, it mentally just was like, let me just not show up. I just kind of like, you know, built up a little presence on Instagram and I was sharing stuff on there. And as we all know, that app, it's crazy it's just not it anymore like I don't know what it is like but Instagram just feels so forced bro and it's just like even when I tried for it not to be it just feels that way and I never felt that way on YouTube I always felt like I had an authentic community of people who supported me here I love the conversations that will be generated in the comments here and I just loved how I was received on YouTube versus Instagram and just sometimes I don't know what it is when they started playing with the algorithm or what but child long story short I'm going on a tangent now y'all but <laughs> but that app is crazy so that's why I'm back to my home I'm like you know what let me get out of my head and take it back to the roots okay um but yeah so I graduated in December and you know I still haven't really been doing yoga and I know I don't know I don't know yoga I, I still resonate with yoga as a practice um but I just as at the same time I kind of just feel a little disconnected from it I don't know if it's just I don't know what it is but I'm just finding out a way that I can incorporate mindful movement into my you know life as a whole in a more meaningful way um yeah and now that I've graduated you know I studied art that was always my baby that was always my main thing um so I kind of just want to delve into that more um which I am doing so yeah here we are now it's April and at the beginning of this month I launched my brand which I'm so happy about y'all know art is my baby so my brand incorporates wall art I create different illustrated prints as well as contemporary interior objects so we are essentially a design studio called wiki anchi and we create artful objects to exist in spaces particularly homes but they can also exist in offices hotels wherever they add they're there to make the space beautiful i'm gonna actually show you guys one of my friends this is actually our best-selling print right now so this is what it looks like This is one of them. This is like a proof. I'm not selling this one because it kind of got a little ruined. But this is what it looks like. She's called Lounging Lady. So we released our first collection. And the collection is called Dendrology, which is a scientific word for the study of trees. So this collection was really inspired by trees from different places that I visited. And I'm going to actually show you guys some of my pieces. So this is one of the vases that we have. I actually just love this piece so much. I shot a mini campaign while I was in Ghana um, with my friend Kwaku and this girl Timmy Lola. She's a model out there. Funny enough, the girl actually went to U of I and Champagne, so it was just funny running into a fellow Illini all the way across the ocean in Accra. But yeah, we shot this campaign and this is another one of my vases. This one is called Rutil Mishima and it gets the name from its color which uses a mineral called Rutil and then also Mishima is a specific technique used in ceramics where you carve and then inlay within the carvings oxide so that's where it gets this look um, but yeah we make vases both of these vases are actually available on our site right now um, the collection is kind of broken into two parts so volume one is available at this very moment and then May 1st I'm releasing volume two which I want to show y'all something that's going to be in volume two as well so as well as vases we kind of have like these little trays they're so cute they have these little two feet at the bottom but it's just for like jewelry to sit on like your dresser tops countertops in your bathroom it can really hold whatever you want it to hold um, but yeah, they're like these little multi-purpose trays and 
all of these products are going to be available soon. This is another one of the pieces that's going to be available in volume 2. I just love this one. It's so big. I'm trying to start going bigger with my size. And she's so freaking cute. She's kind of like duly inspired by watermelon and calabash. I, have, I actually have another piece that was available in volume 1. Um, it's now gone, but... It was called the Calabash Storage Basket, and it is inspired by Calabash, the large melon gourd that is used for storage throughout many West African countries. So I had the opportunity to go to Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire in June of last year, and that's when I kind of got the inspiration for that piece, and this one too, and I kind of just started sketching from there, and these pieces were born. I'm going on a tangent about these pieces, y'all, but... This is my passion. This is my passion. Art is my passion, you know, and I'm also trying to find more meaningful ways to bring that to my YouTube channel. Like, you know, I used to do my DIYs and all of that, and I still love doing those, but I'm just, I'm, I'm brainstorming. I'm in my mode of brainstorming right now for different ways I can show up for y'all and videos that y'all actually want to see. So even if you guys have some suggestions on what you would like to see on this channel, please let me know please please do but I have a lot in store that I've already started to think about and I am going to be uploading every single week at least once a week maybe twice but for now I want to commit to one video a week and let us grow from there I'm just really excited y'all I'm really excited to be back on YouTube um, and sharing my personality like I really don't even like to use my voice on Instagram like I don't ever make talking videos on my story really and I don't really know what it is but I feel like it's a collective thing that we kind of all feel so while I'm working through that I will be here showing back up here even if I get 300 views even if I get 20 views I'm gonna be happy with what I get and I'm gonna build from there because it's what I want to do and I know that it's possible oh my gosh y'all <laughs> just got the most like happiest text ha ironically while I'm filming this video but one of my customers and beloved IG friends sent a picture of her styling one of my pieces look at it y'all I just inserted it right here she styled two of the pieces that she bought she was actually the very first person to buy when I put out that my site was up and she'd been you know supporting as I was saying coming soon so much so thank you girl Edie if you're seeing this please 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 Eddie if you're seeing this please just know you have a special place in my heart thank you thank you thank you thank you y'all like starting a business is also even just scary like being seen starting from scratch starting as a little bitty tiny dot it's scary it's very scary but you know what like I've just been telling myself let me show y'all what I got right here I have my trusty dusty bible baby because I've just been like I need to put my faith in God um and I've been getting a lot more closer to God through the word and the book and actually reading the Bible like I feel like so many people have a lot to say about Christianity and even I used to be kind of one of those people you know questioning the faith even though I was brought up in it um but I never really actually read the Bible for real and it has a lot of great messages so I've been leaning on it for you know words of encouragement and words of affirmation to just let me know that everything isn't on me like i can put my worries on god like i don't have to worry you know what i'm saying so that's what i've been trying to do lately and i'm just looking forward to continuing to build my business i definitely want to share some of that with y'all like share some of the creative process share like just what's going on with it because i feel like you know i've seen a couple people do it but like People kind of just start their businesses and like you just see them grow but you don't know the behind the scenes. So before my ish takes off, I'm about to share the very beginning so when it does take off, I can inspire somebody else, you know, to start that dream. So yes, I'm going to be back here y'all and I'm really, really, really excited to be back on YouTube. So 
I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope some of y'all are still here and still watching. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.